What's growing on gardeners? On today's two minute garden tip, I'm gonna show you how I kept this tomato plant growing all year long in some of the worst conditions possible. I just can't seem to kill this thing and I'm gonna show you how you can grow a tomato plant like this for months on end too. Now, depending on where you live, keeping a tomato plant alive until October may not seem like a big deal. I grew up in New Jersey and keeping a tomato plant alive into the fall was not uncommon there, but that's because they go in ground late and it just doesn't get hot enough and humid enough long enough to kill the tomato plants. Here where I live in the southeast, it is virtually unheard of. This tomato plant was transplanted seven months ago. It has been through two tropical storms, some of the worst humidity that the entire continent of North America has to deal with, 75 days above 90 degrees. This tomato should have been dead months ago. But here it is, still thriving, kicking out absurd amounts of fruit. I counted and there are over 40 tomatoes on this plant. It just won't stop producing. It is out of control. And if you measure this, this tomato plant is over 12 feet tall. I mean, look at this thing. It is ridiculous. It just won't stop producing tomatoes. So how did I keep this tomato plant growing and thriving for so long in such inhospitable conditions? Well, I did three things. And the first thing is to select a disease resistant variety. This variety right here is big beef. It is one of the most disease resistant indeterminate hybrids. But disease resistance alone is not enough. This big beef tomato planted out in the open in my garden gave up the ghost a long time ago. The real key to my success was the second and third things that I did, and that is I kept the harsh afternoon sun off of it, and I kept the rainfall off of it by planting this tomato plant underneath the eave of my sunroom. Simply put, tomato plants hate getting wet. It spreads disease like wildfire. So the drier you can keep the leaves, the healthier your tomato plants will stay longer, and you'll also prevent a lot of the fruit from splitting. But by far, the biggest lesson I learned this year is how susceptible tomato plants become to pests and diseases due to sun stress. If you live in a location that has harsh sun, anything you can do to give them some afternoon shade so they don't succumb to those really strong afternoon UV rays will go miles to keeping your tomatoes defenses at peak performance and resisting diseases and pests. I proved this without a shadow of a doubt this year. I grew my tomatoes in straw bales and once the May sun started getting really strong, I put up 40% shade cloth over them and I had the healthiest, longest lasting tomatoes that I've ever grown and they had pollination rates further into the year than I've ever seen before here in the Southeast. This works so well that I am convinced that you can grow tomatoes deep into the summer, even in South or Central Florida. And to further back up my findings, I started a later season tomato called Sun Chocola, you can see this one is virtually disease free, which is completely unheard of here in southeastern North Carolina on the coast. So this works incredibly well. So I'm convinced that no matter where you live, if you keep your tomato plants dry from the rain, if you keep them out of the really harsh sun in the afternoon, and if you grow a disease resistant variety, you can grow tomatoes further into the growing season than you ever thought possible. And to make things easy for you, if you don't have eaves and overhangs on your house to grow your tomato plants under like I am, I'll also drop some links down in the video description to some 40% shade cloth that will keep your plants drier and cooler in the summer. It goes miles to reducing their stress. And that's today's two minute garden tip. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell to receive new video notifications and check out our Amazon storefront and spread shop in the video description for a list of the gardening products I use and awesome custom designed apparel and other gear. Your support is greatly appreciated.